So, so what's what's up with the facial expressions? Uh, so the facial expressions in my paintings uh, have to do with kind of like the, the dramatic situations that that, uh, that happen in, in the life, or in my life in particular. All of these are motivated by uh, like past experience and the, you know experiences that are happening now. Funny thing about that is like when I when I came into um, my program when I first started doing this kind of work, I had like pretty much all of my figures were screaming and I decided to change it up and just do traditional portraits. I was in a show in Dallas and it was the screaming pictures, it was the screaming paintings that, you know, got people's attention. But once they got over there to where the paintings were, they loved the the subtle ones. I always thought that was interesting. I talked about what the screaming ones were about and I still kind of um, was, was trying to figure out what those uh, screaming figures meant to me outside of just this feeling that I had that I was making uh, when I was making these paintings. Now, as, as, as time uh, progressed, I did more research and kind of uh, had been going on my own uh, like journey. Uh, I would say my journey of consciousness and like figuring out like who I am and uh, why I do certain things and uh, what kind of things do I value. And I uh, trying to figure out my own purpose. And that's when I, I completely became connected with these screaming figures because uh, they represented uh, the condition that, uh, that black Americans are in and, and have always been in. What I mean by that is uh, if you look at these paintings, like they have, like they'll be screaming or there's like some, some kind of like look of shock or uh, something that you could say is, is like a reaction to some sort of trauma. And uh, that's pretty much been our disposition as a people since we got here. There's always been violence or some sort of, of trauma that was connected with our lives and our situation since black people were brought here. And it's something that has never really changed. And uh, in one way or the other, even, even if violence has been toned down in a sense, there's still like remnants and like residue of like things that have happened back then that have affected us. We never really got like the therapy that we needed. I would say the closest thing we've ever gotten to therapy uh, from said trauma would be, you know, what we find in church. But other than that, we're kind of expected to just, you know, like move on through life and kind of forget that we're traumatized. And uh, so that's pretty much what I'm showing in my paintings is, is like the reaction to this trauma. And uh, it somewhat is, 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 an, is a daily thing because, uh, you know, we live our lives based off of uh, certain experiences that we've had. For an example, I have uh, this one painting. It's more of a calm pose, but the figure is like calmly looking over his shoulder. And I call that painting readiness. That painting is about this, this, this black paranoia that we have, that we're always ready for, you know, some situation to go south. There's like, we've like at a moment's notice, we snap into uh, fight or flight. We have to make that decision. We joke about it because, you know, there's, there's humor in that. And, you know, we're, we're scared of a lot of things, but that mindset and that reaction to most situations is, I would say it, it's, it's a, it's a direct, uh, result of, of trauma you're driving down the street and there's a police officer that, that pulls up next to you and your heart is beating fast you're starting to try to make these uh these decisions that's not a normal thing that is a result of some sort of trauma you're walking down the street and uh somebody that you don't know is walking near you and you're automatically thinking about something that can happen to you that is a result of trauma. So that's what's happening in, in most of my paintings when it has to, when uh, we're talking about the facial expressions and the body language of uh, these figures, because they're all reacting to some sort of trauma that's been connected to our lives. And it's something that we've always known. And the scary part about it is we all have to think about what's gonna happen in the future and how we can try to raise our children to not be affected by such trauma. The sad thing is we're not sure if we'll be able to do that.